Okay, let's have the solution to example 66. From the frame shown, draw the influence lines for vertical reaction at C, shear at D, moment at D, shear at E, and moment at E. For all cases, the load moves along BF. So this is the figure. First, let's have the free body diagram for the preparation of the construction of influence line for reaction at C. So, of course, we have R sub C, then we have AY and AX. AX is zero, definitely, because there's no load that is inclined. So, summation versus X zero, so AX is zero. So, summation moment about A equals zero. Let's call this distance X because the load moves from B to F. So, this distance is 7.5 minus X. So, summation moment about A equals 0. R sub C times 10.5 equals 1 times X plus 3. So, X plus 3. So, R sub C is equal to 1 over 10.5 times quantity X plus 3 for 0 less than or equal to X up to 10. 2.5 plus 5 plus 2.5 is 10 meters. <coughs> then, we plot the Influence line for reaction at C, we begin by setting X is 0. So 0 plus 3 over 10.5, that would be 2 over 7. When X is 2.5, 2.5 plus 3 over 10.5, that would be 11 over 21. When X is 7.5, 7 7.5 plus 3 over 10.5 is 1. And when X is 10, 10 plus 3, 13 over 10.5, that, that would be 26 over 21. So, plotting, that's the influence line for reaction at C. In deriving for shear at D, at this point, at this section here, and we plan to isolate AD as a free body later. So, we need AY. So let's construct the influence line for AY, summation moment about C equals 0, counterclockwise clockwise positive. So AY times uh, 10.5 equals 1 times 7.5 minus X. So AY is 1 over 10.5, quantity 7.5 minus X. So let's plot when X is 0, 7.5 or 10.5. So, AY is 5 over 7. When X is 2.5, 5 over 10.5 is 10 over 21. When X is 7.5 minus 7.5 is so 0. <coughs> then, when AY is 10, 7.5 minus 10, negative 2.5 over 10.5, that's negative 5 over 21. So, plotting, that's the influence line for AY. Then let's copy this on the next slide so that we can analyze shear at D. So we have AY, then shear at D, moment at D, normal at D, and the slope. This is 1.5, this is 2, so <coughs> 3 horizontal for vertical, so 5 by potatoes, call that angle there theta. So this angle that ND makes with the vertical is also theta, sorry, vertical and the normal VD is also theta. Then <coughs> this is the influence line for AY, summation forces. Uh, along the shear direction, this direction here, equal 0. So, this is theta also. <coughs> so, the component of AY in that direction is AY cosine of theta, and cosine theta is 3 fifths, and minus shear at D equal 0. So, AY times 3 fifths minus shear at D is 0, so shear at D is 3 fifths of AY. For 0 less than equal to X less than equal to 10. So, all we have to do is to construct influence line for shear at D, we just multiply this coordinates by 3 fifths. So, 3 fifths of 
5 over 7, that would be 3 over 7. 3 fifths of 10 over 21, <coughs> that would be 2 over 7. 3 fifths of 0 is 0. 3 fifths of negative 5 over 21 is negative 1 over 7. So, plotting, that's the influence line for shear at D. <coughs> then, for moment at D, summation moment at D equals 0. So, counterclockwise moment MD, this this is the positive direction, this left, right, so this is the right section, that's why shear at D is going in that direction, that's the positive direction for shear at D. For moment, the positive sense is counterclockwise if it is in the right section. So MD equals AY times 1.5. So that is for 0 less than equal x less than equal to 10. So all you have to do is multiply these ordinates for Ay by 1.5. <coughs> and that's the corresponding ordinates for moment at D. So 1.5 of 5 over 7 is 15 over 14. 1.5 of 10 over 21 is 5 over 7. 1.5 of 0 is 0. <coughs> and 1.5 of negative 5 over 21 is negative 5 over 14. So plotting, that's the influence line for moment at D. <coughs> then next is shear at E. So we consider the free body diagram from A to E. <coughs> you can also consider E to F instead, but I prefer a to E. So, because we have already uh, plotted the influence line for AY. So, positive shear at E is downward. That's the unit load. X from B, then 2.5 minus X from E. Downward, that's a shear at E, then moment is counterclockwise. That's the positive sense. So, summation forces y equals 0, so ay equals v sub e plus 1. Therefore, shear at e is ay minus 1. And this is true for 0 less than equal to x and x less than 2.5. So this is shear, so that's why it should be less than 2.5, not less than equal to. Then, when x is greater than 2.5, this unit load is no longer part of the free body diagram, it's on the other segment of the frame. So therefore, we remove <coughs> 1. So shear at E equals AY when X is greater than 2.5. So that's it. So we now have to plot the influence line for shear at E. So when x is 0, this is the formula, ay 5 over 7 minus 1 is negative 2 over 7. Then when x is 2.499, so ay is 10 over 21 minus 1, so 2.499, so this is still the formula. Or 2.499 minus 1, that's, that's 2.5 minus 1. That's, sorry, that's 10 over 21 minus 1, so that's negative 11 over 21. Then when x is 2.50001, this is now the applicable formula. It is equal to ay, and ay is 10 over 21. Then x is 0, because it is equal to ay, then negative 5 over 21. So plotting. So that's the influence line for shear at E. Finally, for moment at E, summation moment about E equals 0, counterclockwise positive, so ME plus 1 times quantity 2.5 minus X equals AY times 5.5. So simplifying, ME is 5.5 AY minus 1 quantity 2.5 minus x. This is applicable for 0 less than equal to x, less than equal to 2.5. So this time less than equal to 2.5 because we are computing for moment. <coughs> so
So, when x is 0, this is the applicable formula. But when x is greater than 2.5, the unit load is no longer part of the free body diagram. So, we remove this part of the equation. We remove this one. This is 0. So, me is 5.5 ay when x is greater than 2.5 meters, greater than equal to 2.5 meters. Because when x is 2.5 meters, anyway, this is 0. So, 5.5 of ay. So, let's now plot the influence line for moment at E. So, when x is 0, 5.5 of 5 over 7 minus 1 times 2.5 because when x is 0, so that is 10 over 7. <coughs> then, when x is 2.5, this is 0. So, this is now the applicable formula here. 5.5 of 10 over 21 is 55 over 21. <coughs> Then 5.5 of 0 is 0. 5.5 of negative 5 over 21 is negative 5, 55 over 42. So plotting. So this is now the influence line for moment at E. So I hope that you were able to follow the solution. It's a matter of statics and free body diagram.